That earthquake that hit Padang, Indonesia, has left the scene of utter devastation. The health ministry says nearly 3,000 people may still be trapped in the rubble. Survivors are still being found nearly 48 hours after the first shock. CBS News correspondent Celia Hatton is in Padang. Two days after the latest powerful earthquake, rescuers found a few survivors trapped under the wreckage of collapsed buildings. That small success has re-energized efforts to find the thousands still missing. Most of the confirmed deaths have been in Padang, where more than 500 buildings were heavily damaged or destroyed, including two hospitals. This video was taken as the quake struck. At what used to be a karaoke lounge, rescue crews pulled one body from the wreckage, while residents at this severely damaged house tried to salvage their belongings. This woman is looking for her 24-year-old son who worked at this laundry before it collapsed. I was screaming because when I saw the rocks and rubble collapse, I said my son will be killed. This woman says, I keep hearing in my ears that he was calling me. Rescue operations have been hampered by power blackouts and a lack of heavy equipment to move large pieces of wreckage from toppled buildings. Lineups for gas are more than three hours long. There's a severe shortage of other necessities, too. Rescuers found a teenager alive in the wreckage today. She'd been trapped for over 40 hours. Celia Hatton, CBS News, Padang, Indonesia.